All right, we've got a uh, Onan generator out of a 1989-87 RV that I salvaged. It's a 5.0 BGA, BGA, which means it's a 5 kilowatt generator. It runs, uh, it's twin cylinder, flat, flat twin, and it runs at about 1800 RPMs, uh, so it's very quiet uh, instead of the screamers, which run at 3600 RPMs. Um, I modified it a little bit. Uh, the electric fuel pump down here was kind of leaking a little bit, and then the coil inside of the choke was, uh, oh, the heating coil inside of there basically burned up, so, you know, what do you expect for something since, since 1989? So I modified it to run on propane, so you got basically a propane cylinder, a uh, brass adapter from Walmart, and then a uh, barbecue grill regulator, and then over here, we've got a vaporizer slash carburetor, whatever you want to call them. This one's made by a company called Sentry, it's a Model CJ, so you have your regulator propane coming in here, and then out of the bottom, over here is a vinyl tube, and that vinyl tube runs through the air inlet track, and I just stuck it in the top of the carburetor. So how these function is there's a diaphragm inside of here, and there's a pivot that basically pivots like this. And based on the amount of vacuum in here, the more vacuum uh, will pull the diaphragm down, which will open up a valve on the back side, which will let more propane come in. So it self-regulates. So it can't run too rich, and it can't run too lean. So to start it up, there's a little button here in the middle, and that's the primer. Um, so all you got to do is hold that down for about a second or two. You'll hear a little bit of propane flow. You release it, and then you just hit the start button. And then you just push stop, and the engine quits running. So the propane quits flowing because there's no longer vacuum from the intake manifold felt on that tube. There's nothing to pull down on the diaphragm, nothing to open up the valve to let more propane come in. Um, so that's basically how the whole thing works.